Right, okay, so this is bought band. I'm going to run through it quite quick because the recording stops. So you've got keyboard, which is the main one that um, I use. So we can get it loaded up. So you've got the low to the high end of the keyboard at the top, record button, and a button that allows you to do different styles of uh, playing. So you can have multi row, so you get. Good for if you're doing the chords. Single row or two player, which is quite good. Opposite way round, so you can always show someone how to play it as you're doing it, or play it different bits like that. You've also got guitars, drums, drum machines, bass, record managers, music zones, sync tracks. Those ones are basically apart from uh, well, the first four are ways to play it. Records manager and music zone are where you can store or listen to different styles of music and learn how to play them. Uh, multi track sync is basically a layer builder so you can do different instruments and set it up however you want. It's quite a good uh, app to do, especially if you're just getting started. Um, you can also select chords on all of the different things um, to do it. So, if I want to do it, it um, rather than having to learn specifically every chord that you need to do speeds everything up a bit um, you can set metronome controls and visible keys so you can make the keyboard smaller or larger whatever you need for the piece that you're doing i would say however that the smaller you make the keys the harder it is to hit them uh, in the right way um, you can also lock the keyboard you don't slide it about um, if you only need a specific section but that's Warp band, it's quite a cool little app and does most things you need.